notes. Any, any questions in the last class? Sir, I have one question. Last yes, week. please. Yes, please. Sir, in last week you have said that once we log off the system, that means okay. Windows Server, it will automatically, uh, that virtual box will be off automatically after a few seconds or minutes. But uh, when it comes to disconnect, it is not, uh, that means it, it is still running, sir. Sorry, I did not get your question, please. Sir, in the morning class, you have said that uh, yes, we should not shut down the servers. Correct. If any activities is going on, then we need to disconnect the Correct. server. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. We right. need to turn off the virtual box. See, in our practice, forget about the turning of the virtual machines in the organization. Okay. okay. In our practice, I don't think you will have anything to continue. So you can log off from the servers. Uh, during our complete practice, you can shut down the VMs and all. Okay, you can do whatever you want during your practice in your local laptop first thing. Okay. In the organization, if any work is there, you have to disconnect from the server. If no work is there, you have to log off from the server. If you disconnect, okay, your session will be terminated, not killed. Okay, there is a difference between termination and killing the session. If you just log off from the server, all your active process, active sessions will be killed. Okay, if you are logging off from the server, your session will be killed, not other session. Okay, so your sessions will be killed, not other session. If you terminate, if you disconnect the server, if you disconnect the server, what happened? Your, your, your session will be disconnected. Okay, so that you will come out of the machine, but the processes in the background will be up and running. Imagine you are running an insert query. Sometimes it might take two hours or simply you are running a backup query. It might take one hour or two hours, but your shift is completed. Okay, right. you have to log off. Uh, sorry, your shift is completed. So you have to, uh, what we can say, you have to close your laptop. Uh, you have to update the same thing to the next shift guy. So I just initiated the backup on this so-and-so server. Please monitor this backup. Once it is completed, please update in the ticket like that. Just an example I'm saying. You have to update to the next shift guy. What you have to do, you in this case, your backup is still running. So what yes. you have to do, if any sessions are still running, what you have to do? Disconnect. Disconnect. If any sessions are running, you have to disconnect from the server. If no sessions are running, the backup is completed within your shift, within your shift timing. Then you have to, there is no other work is running. Then you have to, you have to log off, log off log from off. the server. If you disconnect, okay, your sessions will be up and running. If you log off, all your sessions will be killed. That's it. The, the VMs, there is nothing. Okay, happen to the VMs in the back end. Okay, if you disconnect from the servers, the VMs will be up and running. If you log off from the server also, the VMs will be up and running. But if you log off all your sessions, your sessions, only your sessions will be killed. If you disconnect, if any pending sessions are there, those sessions will be up and running. That's it. Any issue? Still you have an issue. I mean, like, still you have a doubt. Sir, Is it clear? Uh, before, before COVID, uh... All DBS are working from organization. Now, after COVID, they are working from work from home, no, sir. Wait a minute. First, is that uh, previous issue cleared or still you have an uh, issue in that? That is somewhat doubt, sir. Uh, okay. Uh, working, tell me. Hmm. We are working from home, no, sir. Okay. Once the that shift timing is completed, uh, if suppose the activities are uh, running, then I have to inform the next shift person. Same. Correct. Correct. You have to inform to the next shift, next shift people. That is called shift handover. Okay, you have to hand over any pending things are there. You have to hand over to the next shift guy. After that, can I shut down my laptop? You can shut down. That's what I'm saying. See, once you come out from the server, either by disconnecting or by logging off, you can do whatever you want. You can shut down and you can throw your laptop also. Okay, okay. it doesn't impact anything. The servers and all the servers won't be affected 
okay so that's not an issue see either you log off or you disconnect at any time you can shut down your laptop your laptop can be shut down but if you don't want that processes to be up and running that was initiated by you then you can log off if any processes are up and running you don't want to kill those processes then you can disconnect simply write I mean like write in your notepad if sessions are running disconnect from the server if no sessions are running log off from the server sir one question from my one sorry one question sorry. from my uh, sir, we should not sir, no, sir. we should not we touch should. vmware vmware we don't touch and we don't have access to touch first thing okay, okay. you don't have access simply see in my, we don't have extra setup we don't have extra building and all to create vms in our practice so what we have to do ultimately we have to do it in our laptop only imagine the same virtual box is there in a different uh, location is there in a singapore data center what you have to do you cannot touch the vms at any time in the organization you don't have access you don't know which console you have to use to connect to the servers in our case everything is there in your laptop so you are able to start the machine you are able to stop the machines in the organization that console will be controlled by the vm team or windows team you don't control that console and you don't have access also to control that console okay Yes. Any other questions? Sir, there one one question from my side. Yes, so yes. this one person work will be monitored by other person, na? So mm, how that can be done. each log each login will be different, na? So one person work can do can monitor by other. Uh, yes. Can access the same. That see access is different, monitor is different. Okay. See for example, okay. if you open the task manager. Okay, if you go to the more details and if you go to the user section, this is my administrator connection, right? Correct. Imagine Basha is connected to this server yes. with his with his login name Basha. Now you can see who are all connected to the server under user section. Who are all connected to the server? If you expand Basha's session like this, you can see what and all things Basha is doing. You cannot see what queries he is running and all. At least what okay. apps he is running, you can see SSMS. If he is running some other apps, you can see what apps. In that way, you can monitor. If you want to okay. see what actually Basha is running in the SQL Server, there is a separate query. You can run that query. You can monitor what Basha is doing. Okay. Only by this only we can monitor. We cannot yes. directly. Yes. From see Windows market. side, see from we cannot directly see his console and all. We cannot. It is not. Yeah, possible. that's what. I'm only the thing is you can see what apps he used what apps he opened what apps he is working with sessions he is running you can see it is like real time only like this only real time, uh, real time like, will be like this only you can see like this only you have to monitor if you want to monitor from windows side you have to monitor like this from sql side what basha is running what queries he is running if you want to see there is a separate query that you have to run in the sql server management studio okay thank you sir yeah. any other questions guys Any questions, any doubts? Right, okay. If no doubts, let's start the session. So in our last class, we discussed how to install SSMS, how to connect to the servers, in how many ways we can, in how many ways we can connect to the default instance, named instance, right? How to open a new query window, how to execute a query, what precautions we have to take while executing the query what is an object explorer what is meant by syntax what is meant by command how to execute what are the shortcuts to execute the query how to see the output right so we discussed all these things and what services will be installed when you install sql server what folders will be created when you install sql server all these things we just okay discussed in the last class now what i am going to do is I want to, I'll create a table, okay. I'll create a table and uh, I'll show you how to create a table. So before creating the table, we have to know the logical hierarchy and physical hierarchy. Okay, means when I create any object, in which location exactly that object will be stored logically and stored physically. 
there are two different uh, terminologies here, two different concepts here. When you create a table, it will be stored logically in a separate way, physically in a separate way. So how, what is this logical uh, representation? What is this physical representation? We'll discuss, okay? Just a minute. Right, okay, fine. So here, right, now let me uh, minimize this, this, this controls, okay, let me, okay. let me connect to the server, let it be. So, what is this logical representation and physical representation, guys, okay? So when you are trying to create any object, logical representation means how logically it will be stored, how logically an object or table. See, in the last class we already discussed everything is an object only. In the SQL server, table is an object, stored processor is an object, view is an object, everything is an object. So when you are trying to create a table, okay, so you can create the tables in the databases, guys. So, where this databases will be there, guys? In the SQL instance, okay? In the SQL instance, we can create databases. Under databases, okay? When you create databases, of course, you will get files and all. Under databases, you will have schemas. Schema is a kind of container. Okay? It's a kind of container. Schemas. In the schemas, your tables will be stored. Okay, this is called logical structure, guys. In the SQL instances, we will have databases. Inside the databases, we will have schemas. Inside the schemas, we will have tables, guys. Logically, tables will be created like this. How tables will be created physically? Right. In the SQL instances, same databases will be there. Someone started the video, please stop it. Yes, thank you. Databases will be there. Up to here, it is same. Inside the databases, we will have data files. Okay, uh, not like that. Uh, inside the databases, we will have uh, file groups, file groups concept. Okay, inside the databases, we will have file groups and log files file groups and log files. Inside the databases, we will have file groups and log files. Inside the file groups, we will have files, data files, okay? Inside the data files, let's, let's go like this, data files. Inside the data files, you will have extents. Inside the extents, you will have pages, okay guys? So your table will be stored physically like this. Physically means, uh, physically it will be stored, okay? Physically means you can see with your eyes. You can see with your eyes up to here. Data files you can see with your eyes. Uh, you cannot see extent pages uh, physically, but you can see it logically. Right. So when you create, there is no confusion, not an issue, guys. It's very simple. When you are creating a table, usually this is the logical representation. In the SQL instance, we'll have databases. In the databases, we'll have schemas. And in the schemas, you can see the tables. This logical representation you can see in the SSMS. I'll show you in the SSMS you can see. Physical representation you can see in the files. Physical location will be there, right path. In the morning session, uh, I've shown you the path. C, program files, Microsoft SQL Server, instance, root directory, MS SQL Server. Inside that MS SQL folder is there. Inside that there is a data folder that is called physical. Okay, in there your tables will be stored physically right so let me show you one diagram guys you will get a clear idea okay just a minute clear idea volume is not guys any issue with my audio please let me know 
Can you issue with my audio? No, it's clear. It's clear, right? Uh, who is this OnePlus Nord CE 5G, please? I told you in the first class, please don't join with the laptop names Lenovo, Dell, or else phone names OnePlus Nord, Realme. So who is this? I'm going to rename you for you. Just let me know who is this. Uh, that's fine. Okay, please let me know your name. I have to rename. OnePlus Nord CE 5G. Uh, Arshad. Arshad. Please ping me from your WhatsApp. Please ping me from your WhatsApp, Arshad. Okay, so in the meantime, what I can do, please ping me. In the meantime, I have to show you one diagram so that you will get a clear idea. That's okay, you please ping me. Okay, I'll get an idea. I have to check my WhatsApp history and all, then I'll get a clear idea. Please don't mind and ping me in the WhatsApp. Okay. Okay, let me open that location, guys. Uh, okay, let's uh, sequence server. And here, materials. Okay, done. Rashad, can you please ping me from your WhatsApp? I'm waiting for your message. Right? Uh, let me show you guys. This, this one. Okay. Uh, yes, this one. Okay. So this is your physical representation. Right? Inside SQL Server, of course, SQL Server is a uh, collection of instances. Okay. Uh, SQL Server is a collection of instances. Inside instance, you can see the database with a low border. Inside database, you can see file groups and log files guys file groups and log files inside log files you will have data files inside data files you can see an extents okay what is this color is it violet okay inside this extents you can see okay pages guys see here pages so whenever whenever you are creating any table whenever you are creating any table the tables will be stored on a page. The tables will be stored physically on a data page. We'll call it as a data page. Okay. The tables will be stored physically on a data page, guys. You can see here. Right. So if you see here, what is meant by an extent, guys? What is an extent? What is an extent? You can see here at least you can tell me what is an extent eight pages uh, that's eight it pages. that's it extent means collection of eight data pages okay extent means collection of eight data pages right so you can see here one two three four five six seven eight collection of eight data pages you can call it as an extent so logically you can create only one table on a page guys okay this is some uh, internals of sql server no one will ask about this uh, if you put a uh, six seven years of experience then you might get these questions but for four five years experience uh, most of the people don't ask these questions okay but it's it's good to have knowledge okay Again, you cannot take training for seven and eight years, right? So we'll cover up to eight years like that in our training, right? So each data page, you can create only one table. If the table is small, 
you cannot share that space to other table if the table is big it will use another space is it clear guys one table will be stored only on one page means one page will be when whenever you are trying to create a table sql server will allocate a page for your table if your table is small the table can be accommodated in that particular single page if the table is big means if you are inserting your keep on inserting records inside the table then one page is not sufficient page is how much 8 kb size right they might ask you what is the page size page size is 8 kb that is fixed no one can change the page size in the entry they will ask what is the page size can we change the size of the page in any version okay so in any version we cannot change the page size that is fixed by microsoft okay 8 kb is fixed for each page page size is 8 kb if you create a small table that can be stored inside a single page of course initially we will create small table only but later we will keep on adding the records right say for example uh, now if anyone observed or not now all this mintra SEO started sales right so i i think it will be four days or five days end of reason sale end of season sale bop of sale something something boss okay uh, evo rs something something sales will be there so initially they will create some tables right they, they will expect it from some traffic okay this is offer period right so people will buy please please mute it do you have any question please if you have any question you can ask me otherwise you can mute it will be uh, like uh, recorded okay guys in three minutes session will be closed automatically please use the same link again huh? right so initially people as you the technical team they will expect some profit okay we just announced the offer right so people start buying the dresses clothes and all so they will create some tables then once the offer is started people start buying people start buying so records will be inserted records will be inserted so initially table size is small only but whenever you are purchasing something it will be recorded it will be inserted as a record in the particular table means if the sales are increasing the table size will be increased so initially it will take only one page but if you keep on inserting records it will consume next page if it is not sufficient it will use next page next page next page next page next page next page if this eight page is full then sql server will allocate one more extent for you guys can anyone tell me what is the size of the extent 64k 64kb right very simple one page size is 8 kb extent means eight pages 8 into 8 64 kb once that 64 kb extent is completely full sql server will allocate one more extent for you 64 kb if that is full it will allocate one more extent one more extent one more extent one more like that that the file will grow automatically is it clear or any issues here please let me know and please use the same link i am it will be closed automatically guys let me reopen it again okay please use the same link to join